Hi, my name is Michelle Pushit Ryle, and I am the face and founder behind Slovenska Kuhinia. I'm a first generation Canadian Slovenian, born and raised in Toronto, Ontario. My parents were both born in Slovenia. Mummy is from Pekunia and Ati, Velikraina. I was brought up in a home that was full of rich Slovenian traditions. Even though I was born in Canada, my parents only spoke Slovenian to me. So when I started elementary school, I couldn't speak any English. I am still fluent in Slovenian and I can speak, read and write. My family and I are practicing Catholics and we're members of Our Lady of Miraculous Metal Church in Toronto, Ontario. I proudly received all of my sacraments there, starting from my baptism, communion, confirmation, and I also got married there. I attended Slovenska Shola every Saturday for eight years. Being a part of this wonderful Slovenian community played such a huge role in my life. Some of the most cherished and lifelong friendships were made here. Most of us were part of a Slovenian folklore dance group, starting as Planika and retiring as Mladiglas dancers. We shared so many great memories together, especially the ones that we made during our 1995 Slovenia dance tour. I grew up vacationing and visiting my family and grandparents in Slovenia over my summer holidays. Those childhood memories hold such a special place in my heart. I have so many fond memories of me playing with the baby chicks, feeding the chickens, and those scary turkeys chasing me. <laughs> Nothing was better than waking up to my Stara Mama's homemade Rzhenny Kuh. Mmm, I could smell it and taste it right now. We ate farm to table, and that's just how it was. Well, the same went for me back at home in Canada. My mommy has quite the green thumb and always maintained a healthy and plentiful garden. I always had a keen interest in the kitchen. Baking and cooking are my passion, as well as my outlet. You would oftentimes find me standing on a chair next to my mom, making pishkote, rezance, strudel, potitsa, and I certainly wasn't afraid to get my hands dirty, dive right in and help Ati with preparing the pig for pachenka or having the important role of tying our homemade salamas. All of these past experiences are what led me to my love affair with Slovenian cuisine. It has always been so important to me to also share these traditions with my own family. Passing down those cherished family recipes from our babica or dancing along to my beloved Devex beats are memories that my children will always be able to hold on to. It makes me so proud to watch my children dance and wear my Ati's Nosha, or better yet, the overwhelming emotions I feel in my heart when they come out on stage together dancing to one of my Ati's original Vesely Vondrovsky songs. The birth of Slovenska Kuhinia came about a year ago during our first lockdown in Ontario marking April 3rd, 2020, as the first page of a very exciting journey for me. Not being able to gather with family and friends and having to stay in lockdown was what prompted me to create a very fun online platform where we could come together, spread the love of our delicious Slovenian food. What makes me the most proud is the way this simple yet innocent idea flourished and caught on so quickly worldwide. With a Facebook following of over 12,000, over 2,000 on Instagram, and my YouTube channel is growing very fast too. Slovenska Kuhinia is not just an online community. We are a family. We are all in this together. We bring each other a sense of belonging and comfort. I just love receiving pictures and messages from my members showcasing the dishes that they were able to recreate that their beloved parents or grandparents used to make when they were alive all because of Slovenska Kuhinia, or the pictures of three generations making putitsa together, allowing their treasured family recipes to carry on through the younger generations. It's really so beautiful to see. It has been a humbling experience being a Canadian Slovenian influencer, digital content creator, and I am so grateful for all of my followers because they make me feel like a social media boss. 
Spreading the love and help to nourish and keep our Slovenian traditions and roots strong is my passion now, and I am so excited to see where this journey is going to lead me. Someone once said that our mission in life is to find our purpose. The one good thing that came out of COVID for me was just that, because I have discovered mine. Spreading love in my Slovenska Kuhinia, I was so born to do this. None of this would ever have been possible if it weren't for the strong foundation that was laid down before me by my grandparents, my parents, the Slovenian social clubs and the Slovenian communities that I am so proudly a part of. This has allowed me and so many other first, second, third generation, just like me, to continue to keep our traditions and roots strong. Now it's up to us to continue to spread the love. I really want to send out a huge shout out and thank you to the Spotlight Committee for putting this all together. I truly feel so humbled to be a part of your Spotlight on Slovenians project. And of course, last but not least, Naša Pravlepa Slovenia. Cheers to 30 years of independence. Nezdravje and dobar tek.